Um, my name's Neil Stavely. Uh, I'm originally from the Detroit suburbs. Uh, I lived up there till just after high school, spent some time around Nashville, a significant period in Memphis, and I've been up here since in Winchester since 2005. Okay, so when did you start studying art? Um, I've always drawn. I was um, I went to art school in Memphis, Memphis College of Art, from '96 to 2000, um, and I've been working professionally as an artist since 1998 um, in a variety of mediums. Okay, and what is the artwork that we have here for us today? Uh, this piece is I call it Spring Sale for right now. Um, it's a woodcut lino cut and found material collage. So wood cuts and lino cuts are block prints similar to a stamp. So, you know, for instance, the cardinals are carved out of wood. What's not red in their case is carved away. These stars are wood cuts. These uh, apple blossoms are lino cuts. So everything's carved. Um, so it's, it's layers of different wood cuts and lino cuts and also, um, you know, little pieces from advertising, uh, packaging, basically garbage. Okay, so what made you name name this piece Spring Sale? Uh, the predominance of the, the price tags in it and then the apple blossoms, it all came together. It suggested that. Um, it's kind of a throwaway name, really. It's Landscape with Caramels would be probably a better title, more straightforward. Um, what was kind of like your inspiration to create it? I mean, what what was like your, your view? Did you have a view in the beginning when creating it or? Um, inspiration is always a problematic word for me. I feel mm -hmm. like generally, uh, the way I work anyways, it's experimenting with different techniques and um, you know, if it's got a direction, it leads into more and more and more work. Um, this is probably, there, there's probably more than a dozen, not more than 20 of these kind of woodcut, lino cut collages. Most of them were done last year. Um, this is only one or two that have been done this year. I don't have time this year for these too much. Um, but they have a lot to do. I'm a printmaker primarily. I do a lot of uh, woodcuts, lino cuts, and you know, greeting cards, postcards, things like that. So I end up with kind of interesting garbage. There's a lot of stuff that doesn't work out. You do a good print, but it's got a thumbprint on the edge of it. It's garbage, you know, so you don't want to just throw it away. So I've been accumulating all these different pieces over the years and um, eventually started making stuff out of them. This one is on canvas. A lot of the others are on cardboard. Um, again, very interested in using discarded materials. I think that that's more and more important when you're looking at things today. I mean, even the frame came out of a thrift store dumpster. Um, the, the canvas was a piece I literally wrestled with for about 19 years before I finally put this one over it. But there's dozens of paintings under this thing, probably. Um, but so these woodcut, lino cut collage paintings like this, um, they are all really specific for using discarded items. You know. So how long does it take you to create a piece such as this one? Um, like, because I mean, it incorporates a lot of detail, right? It does incorporate a lot of detail. Usually, these move fast, though. It's okay. it's a real, um, you know, you're tearing paper and putting it on there, um, and it does tend to build up fast. This one I started in late February or early March and got stuck on it, and then I finished it in August when I'd finished up doing a, a non-related show. Uh, I just kind of knocked this one out, really kind of finished up for this show. Um, so it took a long time, but the actual time on the canvas is relatively quick. Okay, so what, what are kind of like the steps to creating th this type of work? I mean, I'm, I'm unfamiliar with this area, so like with mixed media or just this particular piece, what are kind of like the steps that you utilized? Um, to create what we have here today? Uh, well, the, the first thing is, well... <laughs> <laughs> Loaded question, right? <laughs> I mean, it goes way back, uh, kind of. So, beginning these, basically I just start layering different elements, kind of a, a grid or panel of them, and then just start developing an image um, using specific colors or textures that are on different papers to suggest different elements, landscape or sky, um, and then just kind of start loosely painting things, uh, do a lot of dragging across the surface with the paint, and then, you know, as things begin to develop, start 
putting in the more specific images that you want to be the focal points and you know to be more clear. So one of the other questions I have is when creating this particular work does is color like a key attribute is there I mean because I see you've got some like bright red that is sticking out with the birds but then you've got like this nice green that's that's in it as well is, is color an attribute in any of this or I mean if the color doesn't work the piece doesn't work okay um, I guess I just begin feeling it out you start keying into a few colors and then just sort of spread them or accent them okay so it's more of kind of like a free-flowing process almost Yes. Okay, so like you, you just you start collecting all these different pieces that you have and you start placing it just to see what fits and what works? Uh, it is very intuitive. Okay. Yeah, I mean, there's a little bit more direction than that. Like, okay. I know I want this to look like a landscape. Okay. Um, there's certain things I want to try out with it, but I think the key there is trying out. You know, there is a bit of a searching to it, and so I don't know specifically how it's going to work. Okay. At one point, actually, there was a um, kind of stream that had like little bottles and cigarette butts and litter kind of going right through this area, or there's about six inches cut off the bottom of this. This was originally a stretched canvas. Oh, okay. So, you know, there's things that work. You look at it for a few weeks, and I'm like, oh, that doesn't, that's not so great. Okay. Um, and, you know, adjust from there. So one last question here is like, what, do you have like a specific style, Neil, when you're creating stuff? Like through all of your works, is there a specific style that you try to uphold with? Uh, I feel like the rest of the world would say yes. I don't really think of it that way. Okay. Um, I definitely don't think, um, oh, I can't do this because that's not what I do. Okay. Um, but I, I've been working a very long time and I work a lot and I think that there is just a sort of natural feel to how I draw in things now um, and put things together that, that comes across as a style. But I don't specifically think, oh, I'm going to do a you know, 